Mutuvel Karanadi the 3rd of June 1924 to the 7th of August 2018 was an Indian writer and politician who served as chief minister of Tamil Nadu for almost two decades over five terms between 1969 and 2011 He was a long-standing leader of the Dravidian movement and 10-time president of the Dravida Munnetra Kazhagam political party Before entering politics he worked in the Tamil film industry as a screenwriter he has also made contributions to Tamil literature, having written stories, plays, novels, and a multiple-volume memoir. He was popularly referred to as Kalaigner, meaning artist in Tamil. Karanadi died on the 7th of August 2018 at Kaveri Hospital in Chennai after prolonged age-related illness. Topic: <laughs> Early life and family. Karanadi was born of the 3rd of June 1924 in the village of Thirukavalai in Nagapattinam district Madras Presidency to Ayatharai Mutuvalu and Anjugam. He had two elder sisters Periyanayak and Shunmugasundaradamal. It is also noted that Karanadi and his family were belonged to the caste of Chinna Melam later name changed to Izay Valalar in the Tamil Nadu government gazette after Karanadi took over the government. Chinna Melam is a small Telugu community that traditionally played musical instruments at ceremonial occasions. Also, his political rival M. G. Ramachandran and some observers contested that and said that he was of Telugu ancestry, as recalled in the first volume of his biography Nenjuku Nidi. During his childhood, Karanadi was more interested in music, writing, and activism than schoolwork. He also recollects experiencing and revolting against caste based discrimination during this period. His initial schooling was in Thirukavalai and then in 1936 he shifted to a high school in Tiruvarur. As a teenager he was captivated by the political writings of Tamil leaders including Panagal Arasar, Periyar and Patakataya Zagarasami after whom Karanadi later named one of his sons. Karanadi joined the anti-Hindi protests sparked by the provincial government's legislation making Hindi education mandatory in schools, and in 1938 organized a group of boys to hold demonstrations traveling around Tiruvarur on a cycle rickshaw. The law was rescinded in 1939. The taste for activism however stuck and in the ensuing years, after a brief flirtation with communism, Karanadi started following the work and speeches of leaders of Justice Party, Self-Respect Movement and Dravidar Kazhagam. He ignored schooling and dropped out after failing three times in the final year. Karanadi started his first magazine, at age 15, called Maneva Nesson Friends of Students, which was handwritten and distributed. It was soon followed by the establishment of Marasoli drum roll. He expanded into writing plays propagating Dravidian ideology, and at age 20 starting writing and performing in plays for the Dravid Nadagar Kazhagam Dravidian Actors Group professionally, Karanadi married three times. His first marriage was to Padmavathi in September 1944, and they had a son M. K. Mutu, who was briefly active in Tamil films and politics. Padmavathi died in 1948 soon after childbirth. In September of that year, Karanadi's marriage was arranged with Dayalu Amal, with whom he had three sons, M. K. Alagiri, M. K. Stalin and M. K. Tamilarasu, and a daughter, M. K. Selvi. Alighieri and Stalin are active in state politics and competed to be their father's political successors, before Stalin prevailed. Tamilarasu is a businessman and film producer and campaigner for his father and his party. Selvi campaigned for Karanadi elections too. With his third wife, Rajathi Amal, Karanadi had a daughter, Kanamazi, who is seen as his literary heir. Screenwriting. Karanadi began his career as a screenwriter in the Tamil film industry. His first movie as screenwriter was Rajakumari produced by Coimbatore-based Jupiter Pictures directed by A.S.A. Sami starring M. G. Ramachandran. During this period he and M. G. Ramachandran, then an upcoming actor and later day founder of AIADMK party started a long friendship eventually turning into rivals in later years politics. His stint with Jupiter's Pictures then housed at Central Studios continued for another MGR starer Abhimanu 1948 film, Marudanatu Alavarasi starring M. G. Ramachandran and V. N. Janaki. Around late 1949, T. R. Sundaram of Modern Theatre's studio in Salem engaged Karanadi as scriptwriter for the film Manthiri Kumari starring M. G. Ramachandran which would become be a blockbuster hit. 
Later T. R. Sundaram had Karanadi on permanent roles at Modern Studio. Parasakthi His most notable movie was Parasakthi, a turning point in Tamil cinema, as it espoused the ideologies of the Dravidian movement and also introduced two prominent actors of Tamil filmdom, Savaji Gainasan and S. S. Rajendran. The movie was initially marred with controversies and faced censorship troubles, but was eventually released in 1952, becoming a huge box office hit. The movie was opposed by Orthodox Hindus since it contained elements that criticized Brahmanism. Two other movies written by Karanadi that contained such messages were Panam 1952, directed by famous comedian and political activist N. S. Krishnan and Thangarathnam 1960, produced and acted by S. S. Rajendran another popular actor and DMK activist. These movies contained themes such as widow remarriage, abolition of untouchability, self-respect marriages, abolition of zamindari and abolition of religious hypocrisy. Another memorable hit movie was Manahara 1954, starring Savaji Gainasan, S. S. Rajendran and P. Kanamba known for its crisp dialogues. Writing and narration style Through his wit and oratorical skills he rapidly rose as a popular politician. As his movies and plays with strong social messages became popular, they suffered from increased censorship. Two of his plays in the 1950s were banned. He was famous for writing historical and social reformist stories which propagated the socialist and rationalist ideals of the Dravidian movement to which he belonged. Alongside C. N. Anadurai he began using Tamil cinema to propagate his political ideals through his movies. Topic. Filmography At the age of 20, Karanadi went to work for Jupiter Pictures as a scriptwriter. His first film, Rajakumari, gained him much popularity. It was here that his skills as a scriptwriter were honed, which extended to several films. He was active in screenwriting even during his later political career till 2011 when he last wrote for historic movie Panar Shankar. Topic. Literature Karanadi is known for his contributions to Tamil literature. His contributions cover a wide range, poems, letters, screenplays, novels, biographies, historical novels, stage plays, dialogues and movie songs. He has written Kuruluvium for Tirukural, Thokapya Punga, Pumbukar, as well as many poems, essays and books. Apart from literature, Karanadi has also contributed to the Tamil language through art and architecture. Like the Kuruluvium, in which Kalagner wrote about Thirukural, through the construction of Valuvar Kottam he gave an architectural presence to Thiruvallavar, in Chennai. At Kanyakumari, Karanadi constructed a 133-foot-high statue of Thiruvallavar in honor of the scholar. Books. The books written by Karanadi include Sangha Thamis, Thirukural Urai, Panar Sankar, Romapuri Pandian, Then Pandi Singham, Velakijamai, Nenjuku Nidi, Iniyavai I Rubathu, and Kuruluvium. His books of prose and poetry number more than 100. <laughs> <laughs> Stage plays Karanadi's stage plays include, Manamagudam, Or Raitham, Palaniyappan, Thuku Medai, Kajithapu, Non Aravali, Velakijamai, Udhyasorian, and Salapathakaram. Politics Entry into politics Karanadi entered politics at the age of 14, inspired by a speech by Alagiraswamy of the Justice Party, and participated in anti-Hindi agitations. He founded an organization for the local youth of his locality. He circulated a handwritten newspaper called Manavar Nesan to its members. Later he founded a student organization called Tamil Nadu Tamil Manavar Mandram, which was the first student wing of the Dravidan movement. Karanadi involved himself and the student community in social work with other members. 
Here he started a newspaper for its members, which grew into Marasoli, the DMK party's official newspaper. The first major protest that aided Karanadi in gaining ground in Tamil politics was his involvement in the Kalakudi agitation in Kalakudi. Original name of this industrial town was Kalakudi and it was changed to Dalmiapuram after a cement mogul who built a cement plant there. DMK wanted to change the name back to Kalakudi. In the protest Karanadi and his companions erased the name Dalmiapuram from the railway station and lay down on the tracks blocking the course of trains. Two people died in the protest and Karanadi was arrested. <inaudible> Rise to power At the age of 33, Karanadi entered the Tamil Nadu Assembly by winning the Kulathalai seat in the 1957 election. He became the DMK treasurer in 1961 and deputy leader of opposition in the state assembly in the year 1962 and when the DMK came to power in 1967, he became the minister for public works. <laughs> <laughs> Chief minister When Anadurai died in 1969, Karanadi became the chief minister of Tamil Nadu and the first leader of DMK, since the leader post was customarily left vacant for Periyar during Anadurai time as Anadurai was party general secretary only. He has held various positions in the party and government during his long career in Tamil Nadu political arena. Topic: 70s and emergency. During the emergency, the DMK was the only ruling party across India that opposed the emergency, for which his government was summarily dismissed by Indira Gandhi's government and many of his party leaders were arrested and jailed till the emergency was lifted. Later, the DMK teamed up with the Janata Party post-emergency, but suffered defeat at the assembly elections under accusations of corruption. His one-time friend M. G. Ramachandran, who floated his AIA DMK party after being sacked by Karanadi from DMK a few years earlier, would come to power in Tamil Nadu. The DMK then suffered multiple electoral defeats against his primary opponent M. G. Ramachandran's AIA DMK, until the latter's death in 1987. 80s and 90s Karanadi had a brief stint as chief minister in the late 1980s, during which his government was dismissed by the central government on accusations of degrading the law and order situation in the state after Rajiv Gandhi's assassination. He later again became the CM of Tamil Nadu in 1996 following a sweeping electoral win in the preceding elections. Following a five-year rule, his party again lost at the elections to J. J. Alalithaye's AIA DMK in 2001. Topic 2000s. He was, however, back in power when he took over as chief minister of Tamil Nadu on the 13th of May 2006, after his coalition defeated his main opponent J. J. Alalitha in the May 2006 elections. At the end of the five-year administration, the DMK lost the majority of seats in the Legislative Assembly of Tamil Nadu when elections were held in 2011, thereby ceding power again to the AIA DMK under J. J. Alalitha. During the 2016 closely fought elections DMK narrowly lost seats against J. J. Alalithaye's AIA DMK. He currently represents the constituency of Tiruvarur in the Tamil Nadu State Legislative Assembly. He has been elected to the Tamil Nadu Legislative Assembly 13 times from 1957 to 2016 elections and once to the now abolished Tamil Nadu Legislative Council. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> World Tamil Conference He delivered the special address on the inaugural day of Third World Tamil Conference held in Paris in 1970, and also on the inaugural day of Sixth World Tamil Conference held in Kuala Lumpur Malaysia in 1987. He penned the song, Semojiana Tamiz Maziyam, the official theme song for the World Classical Tamil Conference 2010, that was set to tune by A. R. Rahman, Ulaga Tamiz Manadu World Tamil Conference, was the first coined word for the conference in 2010, however the IATR organization that had right to conduct the conference was not happy hence change in name. <laughs> <laughs> Illness, death and reactions 
Karanadi was in poor health from October 2016 and minimized his political activities and public appearances, with the last one being on his 94th birthday on 3 June 2018. On 28 July 2018, Karanadi's health deteriorated and became extremely critical and unstable, and he was admitted at Kaveri Hospital in Chennai for treatment. He died there at 6.10 p.m. on 7 August 2018 due to age-related illness, which led to multiple organ failure. The government of Tamil Nadu declared a public holiday on 8 August 2018 and a seven-day mourning after Karanadi's death. A national mourning on 8 August 2018 was announced by the government of India. The national flag flew half-mast in Delhi, all state capitals and across Tamil Nadu on 8 August 2018. The governments of Karnataka and Bihar announced one day and two days state mourning respectively. <laughs> <laughs> Awards and titles Annamalai University awarded him an honorary doctorate in 1971. He was awarded. Raja Rajan Award by Tamil University, Thanjavur for his book Than Pandi Singham. On 15 December 2006, the Governor of Tamil Nadu and the Chancellor of Madurai Kamaraj University, Sarjeet Singh Barnala conferred an honorary doctorate on the Chief Minister on the occasion of the 40th Annual Convocation. In June 2007, the Tamil Nadu Muslim Makal Kachi announced that it would confer the title, Friend of the Muslim Community. Yaran E. Millith upon M. Karanadi. Topic: Controversies. He has been indicted by the Sarkaria Commission for Corruption in allotting tenders for the Viranam project. Indira Gandhi dismissed the Karanadi government based on charges of possible secession and corruption. In 2001, he was arrested on the charges of corruption in the construction of flyovers in Chennai. He and his party members were also charged under four sections like IPC 120, B, IPC 167, IPC 420 and IPC 409. Topic: <laughs> Ram Setu remarks. In response to the Sathusamudram controversy, Karanadi questioned the existence of the Hindu god Rama. He said, It is said that there was a god thousands of years ago called Ram. Do not touch the bridge built by him. I ask who is this Ram? Which engineering college did he graduate from? His remarks caused a firestorm of controversy. BJP leader Ravi Shankar Prasad accused Karanadi of religious discrimination when noting we would like to know from Karanadi if he would make a similar statement against religious head of any other religion, chance are he may not. <laughs> Connections with LTTE In April 2009, in an interview to NDTV, Karanadi made a controversial remark stating that Prabhakaran is my good friend, and also said, India could not forgive the LTTE for assassinating Rajiv Gandhi. An interim report of Justice Jain Commission, which oversaw the investigation into Rajiv Gandhi's assassination, had indicted Karanadi for abetting Rajiv Gandhi's murderers, who belonged to the Liberation Tigers of Tamil Elam, LTTE, but the final report contained no such allegations. Topic. Allegations of nepotism Karanadi has been accused by opponents, by some members of his party, and by other political observers of trying to promote nepotism. Many political opponents and DMK party senior leaders have been critical of the rise of MK Stalin in the party. But some of the party men have pointed out that Stalin has come up on his own. He has faced a lot of hardship since 1975, when he was jailed under the Maintenance of Internal Security Act and was beaten up in jail so brutally during the emergency that a fellow DMK party prisoner died trying to save him. Stalin was an MLA in 1989 and 1996 when his father Karanadi was the chief minister, but he was not inducted into the cabinet. He became Chennai's 44th mayor and its first directly elected mayor in 1996. It was only in his fourth term as MLA that he was made a minister in the Karanadi cabinet and then in 2009 was made the deputy chief minister. 
Karanadi's daughter Kanamazi is a Rajya Sabha MP now. Topic: <laughs> Elections contested and positions held. Karanadi contested and won in all Tamil Nadu Assembly general elections then Madras since 1957 except 1984 when he didn't contest the election. Posts in legislature See also List of political families Karanadi family Notes <laughs> <laughs>